Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, each day we feel differently. Sometimes we feel, well, just great. Other times we feel a little bit weary. But you know, it's wonderful to know that God knows how we feel and God wants to help us at that point. But here's a very important area that you and I need to work from to get to where we need to be. And that is to express to the Lord exactly where we are. If you ever talk to someone and they say, uh, you know, hey, what's wrong? And you say, ah, never mind. No, really, what's wrong? Ah, forget it. And you don't want to talk about it. And that's okay in a lot of ways because sometimes people are just, they're trying to be nice or maybe they don't care and they're just trying to be friendly or whatever. But I want to tell you that God cares. God cares how you feel. Now, one of the best Psalms out of the 150 divisions of the book of Psalms is Psalms 18. Psalms 18 is one of the best places that if you're struggling and you're having some challenges going on, that you come to Psalms 18, my, 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 Psalms 18, you begin to read Psalms 18 and suddenly you'll find yourself elevated because of the concern and the care of God. Now listen, God loves you, God cares for you, God wants to help you. Now the psalmist felt very bad in Psalms 18. He did not feel like going on. He did not feel like continuing. And he cries out to God. Now the Bible says that the Lord has to come down from heaven to look at the earth. Think about that. Think about how high God is, how great God is, and how much God loves you that he, by your acceptance of him, gives us the Holy Spirit, that is Hagos Puma in the Greek, which means the Most Holy Christ Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been given to us by God the Father through Jesus Christ the Son that we might operate in His will. And the Bible says in Psalms 18 that He has to bend over to see the earth. Our God is great. Our God is awesome. Our God is full of authority. The Bible says, when I cry, he hears me, and in this Psalms, he answers. He comes down. Now, the Bible says, when he comes down, the mountains quake, the earth shakes, thunder and lightning. I mean, authority. Now, God's not just showing off. God is just showing up. Say amen there, somebody. That's all God's doing. He's just showing up. I mean, God loves you so much, and God wants to help you so much. It's incredible to understand the power that God has in wanting to help you, wanting to watch over you, wanting to bless you. So today, whatever you're going through, whatever's on your mind, whatever's before you, whatever's on your plate, whatever decisions you have to make today, let me assure you, let me promise you, let me help you to understand that Psalms 18 says, I cried and you heard me. And that's exactly what's going to happen. When you cry out to God, he's going to hear you. Now let me encourage you to walk in his way, do his will, uh, submit yourself to his principles, and he will bless you because you and I have a choice. We have a way. We have a principle that we think maybe might be okay. And sometimes we have a good idea, no doubt about it. But God has already preset how we're to operate according to the blessings we desire. And I'm going to tell you, if you if you will put the Lord to the test, if you will challenge the Lord with His own word, you'll be a mate. You'll be it'll blow your mind what God will do if you will simply just trust Him and obey. Now. Day-by-day process, no doubt about that. Day-by-day process, day-by-day activity, day-by-day obedience, day-by-day decision. So whatever you're facing, he already knows. Just trust and obey, and he will show you the way, and he'll bless you for it. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.